This is the GoPro suction cup mount. This is the packaging it comes in. A blister pack like this. The pieces included in the suction cup mount are here. You've got the main body, the suction cup. Comes with a bag. It comes with a variety of accessories that you can use in combination. It's got this arm that can be placed in here with one of these screws sliding through and this type of thumb screw to turn and tighten it. They've got teeth, if you can tell here. Each end has these ratchet type teeth and that's your adjustment up and down one tooth at a time. Now this arm can have on the end of it two different clips. You can have this clip or you can put the quick release saddle on there and then that can be mounted to the suction cup. In the alternative if you don't want to use the arm if you want a more low profile connection you've got the same thing the quick release mount that can mount directly to the suction cup as well as the thumb screw mount which is would be used in combination or could be used in combination with this it includes two of these screws here there we go two of these screws one going through the base and one going through the other end of your arm to use the suction cup you first bring the arm up press down and fold the lever down and then it is secured. It's a very stiff engagement. Certainly not turning this on the fly very easily. The thing that it lacks is any rotation going from this side to this side you're limited to up and down in different combinations so you would have to use this in conjunction with an additional mount if you wanted to turn the camera facing to the right or to the left from the center line of this mount to release simply lift up on the lever there's a tab down here you pull up on the bottom of the cup is this clear, fairly thick, rubbery suction cup. Seems to be good quality. The build quality is very well, very well done. There are other mounts online that you can find that do uh, the same kind of thing, pr this press button with a lever. However, most of the ones that I saw were a locking mechanism in reverse where you would lift up to lock it in place. And the disadvantage to those that you would find and that many people complain about is that that limits how low you can bring this arm. So it has stops about there. Whereas the GoPro, you can bring all the way down. In the side view, you can see that it folds completely down on itself. It's fairly easy to operate. I wish it had a an extra joint here that could turn. You can add it with additional mounts, but it would have been ideal to add it in or at least to allow this to twist 
in a certain way would be would have been helpful so limited in in how it just from the package what angles it can see but in a combination with other mounts you can get virtually anything you wanted the movements are stiff which you want them to be but even when they're in the unscrewed and unlocked position they're very they're very hard to move if you're needing to make quick adjustments on the fly adjustments it's probably not going to happen too fast even when you unscrew them they're still difficult to turn the lever is the easiest of them but any of the mounts that come on to this point here once you have the screw through there uh, even when the screw is loose it's still the teeth are tight which over time I suppose that'll get easier as these teeth wear out but all in all good good mount I don't think you uh, can go wrong with it it's high quality